Alrighty, welcome back to GG Gaming. So here we go. We got a fun one. This one is going to be a showcase for the seven star Pikachu that we got just started for the next two weeks. Essentially, this guy's going to be around. This is going to be Ogre Pond. And this one is super special because Ogre Pond was not in the game the last time this Pikachu came around. So this is brand new and it works absolutely amazing. Stick around. We're going to go through all the details and exactly how this can easily solo the seven star Pikachu. All right, to the details for Ogre Pond. Let's do it. Not crouch, to the details. Check summary. Here's how you're gonna do this. There's gonna be two ways to set this up because two different ways that you can do this battle, both of which easy wins. But I'm gonna show you what I think is the better one and you're gonna see why because the damage is absolutely crazy. All right, here's where we're gonna run. Grass Terra, of course, no mask. So we're gonna use a held item called the Metronome. Metronome increases your every attack you do of the same attack over and over and over. It gets 10% stronger each time, all right? Just keeps adding up, making the attacks stronger. And you know, that'll make much more sense when we actually get over and talk about the moves. Let's do that right now. All right, here's what you're gonna run. The two different scenarios for how you're gonna play your Ogre Pond. We're gonna run Horn Leech with the Metronome. Horn Leech is great, 75 damage, it's physical, and it restores your HP, which is great in a seven star raid. Gets 10% stronger every single time you use it, as long as you don't put another move in there. You gotta use this one over and over and over and over. So the idea is you set up, and then all the only thing you gotta do is spam this move to finish it out and win, because it just continues to get stronger, and you're gonna see that. Works really, really well. Um, and then we're gonna have focus energy, all right? Increases your critical hit chance. One of the best moves in the game, hands down, and the fact that Ogre Pond gets it makes it even better. Option number two is Ivy Cudgel, the signature move that is absolutely amazing. 100 damage, 100 accuracy, and heightened critical hit chances. Tack that on with a focus energy, it's 100% critical hit chance for this move. Uh, we're pretty darn close, so I don't know if it's 100% exactly, but I'm sure somebody will correct me. <laughs> Either way, absolutely amazing. Here's the deal. If you want to use Ivy Cudgel, you are not going to use... Go back over to here you're not going to use that metronome get rid of that metronome put on the shell bell use the shell bell all right shell bell <laughs> i don't know what i was doing there three l's shell bell if you're going to use ivy credule metronome if you're going to use the horn leech one don't need both trust me they both work great but they're both separate builds we are going to do the horn leech version um in terms of your ivs go full hp full attack uh because both of these moves are physical Horn Leech is physical as well as Ivy Crudgel. Everything that um, your Ogre Pond does is full physical, so that's the way you're going to build him. All right, that's what we're going to do for your IVs. Otherwise, uh, well, let's go ahead and throw in that Sword Dance just to have it. Uh, this version of Ogre Pond gets Defiant, which means every time a stat is dropped, either by Play Rough or Iron Tail, that attack stat gets boosted times two. Gets two places. Uh, does happen quite a bit. We'll see if it happens. If it doesn't happen and he just sticks with Surf and Thunder, then we have Sword Dance to go ahead and give ourselves a little extra boof, boof, buff, if we need it. But that is that. That gives you the idea on how this thing works. All right, let's get over to the actual showcase and I'm gonna walk you through this step by step. But it's easy. And we have a full audience. It is four Lechonks and even the evolution back there in the back. I don't even know what that one's called. I forget. But that's crazy. Love it. Okay. We're in and we we don't have Arbo Livia because this is just a random party. We do have Bell Bull, which is going to throw up Light Screen, making us deal with those Thunders and Surfs just a little bit easier. It's not a big deal with this guy. This guy is good with no matter what your party is. Trust me. So, there you go. Start with Rain Dance, and then immediately he's going to come in, use that Surf. There's nothing you can do about it. Happens on turn one. And then you also see he has the full shield. That went up turn one. So what are we going to do? We're going to go right into one Focus Energy. Okay? <clears throat> it's the only Focus Energy you need to use. It does not expire. does not go away. cannot be debuffed. That gives you your... Critical hit chance, but there we go. Go right into Horn Leech now. Okay, we're gonna do this three times at least. Gotta get our Terra energy up. 
And so we'll, the way we're going to play this is if he hits us with something that causes Defiant to trigger, then we get the attack boost, like the Iron Tail. If that triggers, it did. Then we won't use Sword Dance. If he doesn't trigger Defiant, the ability, over Pond's ability, then we will use a Sword Dance um, once we get terror Terrastalized, and then we'll go right back into Horn, horn Leech. We probably don't need to, but it's nice having the buff. Just makes it go faster. So there's our three. Get our ter Terra Energy set up for this. That's her coded. No, that was a normal one. Just him using it. All right, so from there we're gonna go ahead and throw up the Terra lies. Um, actually, no. Yeah, yeah, because he's gonna steal a Terra Orb charge. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna throw in. Um, we're gonna go right into that Hornage. Why? Because our HP is low. We're gonna get the Sword Dance up. But at the same time, we're already now 40% boosted, 30% boosted because of the Metronome. So it's like, is it a trade-off? Is it better to go for the Sword Dance or just stay on the Horn Leech? Because it's going to get critical hits. Just see how much damage this does. How about that? Oh. This is so easy. It, it's just a gimme. Yeah, no Sword Dance. Forget it. And once you do Terrastalize with Ogre Pond, you lose the Defiant ability. It takes on the body aspect, his speed goes up, so now if my stats get dropped, I'm not going to get the stat boost. So you can only get that free Terrastalizing. We're just going to continue to go with this Horn Leech. This is too strong. There's no, we don't even need the Sword Dance. If you have the Sword Dance, I mean, we're talking massive chunks of damage. <laughs> If you want to have fun with this, max out the attack on him, and then get into your horn leeches. Because I'm doing, I mean, I'm doing like 20, 25% there. Uh, at least 20. That's with no buffs. We're just spamming it. That's it. You have a turbo controller, you can just hit the turbo button. Done. Sit it down. Fight over. That easy. The Thunder may get annoying. Parallel. Here's the thing with seven star raid bosses. Never a guarantee. There's always an opportunity for them to critical hit you. They go into double attack mode below 50%. This Pikachu does too. Um, that, that paralyze takes effect twice. You probably get paralyzed, you know, two two in a row take effect and you don't get the, the horn leech off. You're probably gone. Um, you could choose to use a heal tier here, um, but it's going to reset that horn leech damage if you do. But we're just going to take your chances. Play the RNG. One more hit. Paralyze has not been an issue. If you do find you are really struggling with this, you could put on this build a cloak, a covert cloak. That would stop the paralyze. It would also stop the, the, the defense down and the attack down from those other two stacks. Which means Defiant does not take into effect. But you could throw in your sword dances to make up for it, get set up at the beginning, and then move on with the Horn Leech through this whole thing. It's not going to get that 10% boost from the Metronome, but still will do plenty of damage to get the win. There's so many ways you can do this. Incredibly versatile Pokemon, as we see. Easy win. Not even paying attention to the game, really. And Herba Mystica is still in the pool. They added that. That was not there for the original Pikachu build. They added that because of the change to recent seven-star raids. So awesome, awesome opportunity here to farm with Ogre Pond, who is, as you see, an absolute perfect Pokemon to take this guy down. So if this was uh, helpful, drop that like, hit that sub button, and let me know what other builds you are using. 
you may even get a shout out and a showcase for your own builds right here on the channel. See you in the next one.